Hey folks, Antar here, and I am bringing you a new doubles battle today. My opponent is Clefairy Rocks, and this battle has been sitting on my hard drive for a good long while. In fact, we had this battle exactly three months ago today. Kind of crazy, but that's how my backlog was for doubles. Uh, it just happens sometimes. Uh, anyway, time to the actual battle. It's a, uh, My opponent is Clefairy Rocks, as I said. She's using a team that, if there were such thing as tiers for doubles, a lot of her Pokemon would probably be OU. Uh, but she's using them in some creative ways such that it kind of levels the playing field. Uh, so anyway, leading off with a Ninetales and Corsola, I'm going to want to pull, pull back my lead Tangrowth and switch into my Angler, predicting a Fire-type move. Uh, she goes ahead and predicts my Power Whip onto Corsola and switches into Scissor. Uh, Ninetales actually goes for Nasty Plot instead of attacking this turn, which is great because that means there's going to be nothing to prevent me from setting up Trick Room with my Musharna. So that's excellent, I've got the Trick Room up, although I'm not actually sure how much it's going to help me against her team. Next turn, I want to get rid of that, whatchamacallit, that Ninetales right away, because it's going to be such a huge threat. So a Psychic and a Scald should hopefully be enough. I really wasn't predicting her to protect. That would have been kind of silly, I figured. And I do manage to take it out, so that's excellent for me. And so now I've got nothing to worry about but that scissor. That scissor is a freaking special scissor. I have never, ever, 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 ever seen a special scissor before. That's really, really crazy. But it's quite interesting. I mean, it did half to my Musharna. So anyway, out comes a Behem. Uh, interesting, and I know that it's going to be slow because Behem's a perfect trick room setter upper. I'm going to go ahead and swap out at this point into my Tachikoma, my Rotom Frost form, as Behem actually goes for the power share, power whatever move it is. Anyway, power split, I guess. So anyway, that means that uh, Scissor is going to get a huge boost to its base special attack, and its, it's attacks are going to do a whole, whole lot of damage. It does about half. Um, it's not Specs, which I was thinking it was Specs. Uh, that Vacuum Wave is not enough to take me out, but it gets really close. Behem goes ahead and goes for the Nasty Plot, and that's going to raise that Behem's special attack right back up. T uh, Angler is going to go ahead and go for the T-Bolt here, just to see how much damage it racks up. Doesn't do as much as, as I was hoping. As Tachikoma goes for the Discharge, doesn't really doesn't help out uh, Angler. I really would and had it taken some damage, it would have healed up. But that's okay. Shell Bell is going to recover more HP than Leftovers would have, I believe. Yeah, Shell Bell is actually not a bad item in doubles if you're using lots of area effect moves. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and swap out here into my Gallade, nicknamed Mikhail. Going to take the Vacuum Wave, going to resist it. That's going to be awesome. I, was that a crit? Yeah, it was a crit, and it didn't really do him very much. Omega is going to go ahead and go for the Psy Shock. That is going to hurt me a lot, because Angler is specially defensive, not physically defensive, and he got a nasty pot up, he being the um, Behem. Anyway, I survived with 15 HP, which is really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Scald here against that Scissor, going to take it out, and that's going to be really, really awesome. Not going to have to worry about it anymore. And the Twisted Dimensions return to normal, which is great, because I think I actually want... You know, to have—I think my Pokémon are actually gonna be faster right now, especially with his little uh, his uh, slip and slide out, curse slip and slide out. Excuse me. Mikhail's gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Sneak here, hoping to take out that Behem. And indeed, I do do enough damage to take it out, thanks to my Life Orb. Maybe that Life Orb didn't matter. I don't know. I haven't looked at Behem stats recently, but I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, next turn, I'm going to be able to power up that uh, slip and slide and hopefully do hopefully do a lot of damage. Earthquake is going to hit both of my Pokemon, but neither of them particularly hard. Mikhail's taking a lot of damage, but it is what it is. Uh, he, she sent out Latios now, and that's obviously going to be the hugest threat. I don't care if you're running a physical Latios, which she is. Latios is a huge threat, no matter how you slice it. Going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Sneak here. Does over half without a crit or anything because. Uh, Latios really has no defense, no defense. Has a decent special defense. Uh, gonna go for a Dragon Dance here, which would have been a good move if I didn't have the Shadow Snake. Uh, really should have attacked that turn, but then again, wouldn't have done very much. Uh, Ice, Hidden Tower Ice is going to actually finish off that Latios, so I was expecting it to be this huge threat, and it wasn't a threat at all, because I took it out on its first turn. 
and I believe uh, my opponent is now down to her last two Pokemon. Kudzulu is going to go ahead and power whip that uh, that Quagsire, and I believe that's a one-hit KO, considering I've invested a lot of it in my Kudzulu's attack. Yeah, it's a one-hit KO. That's really not very surprising. Uh, Marina goes ahead and sets up a reflect as I think I have Mikhail go for the Trick Room. Not sure why I went for the Trick Room there. Probably wasn't the best move. I guess I was thinking if Latios... Oh, no, no, Latios died last turn. Anyway, I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry, folks. I am kind of wiped out because I have been helping Smogon out with their usage stats for August. Basically, the guy who used to do them uh, really couldn't do them anymore. And long, long story. I'm having to derive them all from battle logs. There's a pain in the butt. But hopefully... Most of my work is done, and they'll hopefully have a decision, and you'll see a new UU tier, a new RU tier, and maybe even a new uh, NU tier. Anyway, sorry, while I was talking, the battle ended. Great game, Clefairy Rocks. I'm sorry my narration is so crappy right now, but can you really blame me? Anyway, so long, folks.